Clean Air is an alternative truck loading system for hazardous fluids, such as condensate, sour condensate, and sour water. Current conventional loading practices, scrubbing and pressure loading, produce flammable and toxic vapors. Chemical scrubbers are difficult to manage and often require expensive chemicals. Trucks that are pressure loaded cannot be filled to capacity and can vent vapors on shared roadways. This can create issues when operating in proximity to residents due to odors and increased traffic. The clean air system safely diverts vapors from the tank truck to flare while you're loading. This eliminates pressure loading, sour emissions, odors, and LELs. There are two types of clean air units available. One uses a nitrogen process and the other uses a fuel gas process. The nitrogen process clean air unit, shown here, has an N2 generator, an N2 receiver, a load box with vent, oil and water line connections, and an oxygen sensor. When the nitrogen process clean air unit arrives on location, the unit is spotted and rigged into the test crew and the flare stack. The unit is energized and starts generating nitrogen. When a tank truck arrives, load and vent lines from the truck are rigged into the unit. To begin the loading process, the load line off the oil storage tank is opened to the clean air unit. From the control panel, the oil switch is selected and the start button is pressed. At this point, the oxygen sensor begins sampling and the scrubber and nitrogen valves automatically open. Nitrogen purges the tank truck and all the lines in the system right through to the scrubber. Once the system is purged of all oxygen, the flare line will open and the scrubber and nitrogen valves will close. At this point, the oil valve opens to begin the loading process. As the tank truck is being loaded, solution gas begins to break out and is safely diverted to flare where it is combusted. When the tank truck is filled to capacity, the stop button on the control panel is pressed. The oil and flare valves close, isolating the truck. From here, the manual process of purging out the load and vent lines to flare with nitrogen begins. After this, the flare valve is closed and the tank truck is rigged out. The truck is loaded to capacity with no pressure on the truck. The fuel gas process clean air unit is similar, but doesn't have the large nitrogen accumulator on it. It requires you to tie into existing natural gas infrastructure on location. This unit features a natural gas measurement and blending building, a load box with oil, vent and water line connections, and an oxygen sensor. When the fuel gas process clean air unit arrives on location, the unit is spotted and rigged into the test crew and flare stack. Much like with the nitrogen process unit, however, this unit has no scrubber. Once it's rigged in, the unit is energized with natural gas up to the control valve. When a tank truck arrives, load and vent lines from the truck are rigged into the unit and is prepared to load by opening the oil line into the clean air unit. Select oil on the control panel and push the start button. The oxygen sensor will begin sampling and the PLC will open the control valve for the natural gas. From there, the flare valve will open followed by the oil valve and the loading process begins. As the solution gas breaks out, it is diverted to the flare. The control valve will regulate the natural gas flow rate to blend with the solution gas based on the readings of the oxygen sensor. The oxygen sensor maintains the oxygen content below 4% by blending natural gas with the solution gas on its way to the flare. If there's any increase or decrease in oxygen, the PLC will regulate the flow of natural gas into the gas stream. Once the truck is loaded to capacity, the stop button on the control panel is pressed. This closes the oil, natural gas and flare valves, allowing you to isolate and rig out the tank truck. 
Once again, the truck is loaded to capacity with no pressure on the truck.